morning guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really well today so as you can see from the title i've got a big christmas haul for you guys and it's my favorite i think it's the best one i've ever done if i do say so myself i picked up so many good things most of it is from b m but i do have a few things that sprinkled in from tk maxx and home bargains as well so i can't wait to show you everything i've picked up normally i go shopping and get a ton of stuff and then i'll decorate and realize that i've either bought too much or i didn't buy what i needed so this year i've decorated first which should already be up on my channel and i wanted to just be a little bit more intentional with the things that i bought see what i actually actually needed and then yeah just go out and look for specific things and I got pretty much everything that I was looking for so I was super happy on the day that I, I got all this stuff like I can't wait to share it with you so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave today's video a thumbs up go get yourself a hot chocolate get cozy and let's just jump straight into it start off with the two things that I bought from Home Bargains and honestly I think they might be my favourite. So the first thing is this gorgeous bro. Look how just soft and luxurious that feels. It's just this really lovely white. It's like a fleecy material. And um, yeah, this was, I think, like seven pounds. It was an absolute bargain. Don't have the receipt, obviously, because it's me, but yeah i think this was around seven pounds so as soon as i saw it i had to get it yeah this is just to go on the sofa downstairs because when i was decorating this year i did realize that i don't have any cushions or throw blankets that makes it really cozy and even though i didn't find cushions i did find this so yeah home bargains have the best throws speaking of throws i think this one's actually my favorite so this is like a it's like a grey, it's not a grey, it's like maybe a, a greyish colour and this is a super size soft throw and it was only £12, £12 and yeah this is just huge, it's so thick so this is going to be perfect to make downstairs feel a bit cosy because our sofa is really big and at the minute it's really bare so I just want to add all of the throw blankets cushions if i could find them and just different like textures as well to like really cozy it up so if you are needing some more throw blankets definitely go and check home bargains because they've got quite a few in so i also got this from home bargain which i totally forgot about it was in my b m bag for some reason but it was definitely from home bargains it's just this reed diffuser i thought it would be really cute it's in the evergreen spruce scent and it's just really neutral and that's what i'm going for this year so i didn't want anything red or bold or anything like that so i just picked one of these up i think it was about two pound so yeah really really happy with that one moving on to tk maxx now tk maxx was a fail let's just put it out there tk maxx was a fail i went in looking for candles i bought one candle and i've also bought something that i'm going to return just warning you this is the candle i picked up from tk maxx it was 8.99 it's in the cinnamon vanilla and it has like a really pretty lid to it as well why does everyone smell the candles on video like but i have to because it smells amazing but yeah i love the sand and fog but they didn't really have many in i think i'm late to the game because they still had loads of um like autumn scents and then they had loads of like spring summer scents they didn't really have a lot of christmas so i'm either late or too early i don't know so i'll probably have to go in and check again but yeah i always love the sand and fog ones i think last year i had a mold wine sand and fog and that smelled amazing but i couldn't find it again but the cinnamon vanilla will do the job just fine <sighs> right i've wanted to get a jar of matches for a long time and honestly i am kicking myself now so i got this one it's got these like eyes on the front which i don't really like but i just thought i could turn it around because you won't be able to see i loved that they were white and it had the ribbon it has the thing on the bottom and these are 8.99 for like nine basically 10 pound i spent on a jar of matches and then when i got home i realized that the eyes on the front is only sellotape as well so yeah, anyway, really kicking myself for getting these because I actually found something identical and so much cheaper in B&M. So 
yeah stick around because i'll show you later on in the haul why i am kicking myself so much for getting these and these are definitely going back moving on to b and m and i went a little bit crazy i don't know what came over me i was just like like it having it like it having it and i just put everything in my basket so yeah let's start off with this one i'll start off with some cleaning products to start with because you know i I love a good cleaning product. So I finally got my hands on the Mrs. Hinch uh, Frosted Eucalyptus Spray. And yeah, it smells amazing. Haven't actually used it yet, but I've got the air freshener, like the air mist in the same thing. So that smells amazing. So hoping this does as well. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get that for my next Christmas Clean With Me video. So that's gonna be good. And you know that I love my house to smell fresh and clean and cosy and festive. So as soon as I saw all of these, I had to get them. I got so excited when I saw this. I don't even know why, but this is the bathroom air freshener in the cosy Christmas scent. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what cosy Christmas smells like. I also got the Mrs. Hinch Frosted Eucalyptus just to go downstairs and just sort of add in with all of the scents. Also picked up the Febreze Air Mist in orange and cinnamon because I just love both those scents. They're like my favorite to be fair. I'm probably gonna need to get two of these because I know I'm gonna be using it every day because I just, I love a good smell. I have just dug out the thing that is replacing my matches from TK Maxx and it's this gorgeous, cute little jar of matches, three pounds three pounds so they are practically identical they are smaller but i think that just makes them look even cuter and can sit on the coffee table better and yeah they've got the matte striker at the bottom exactly the same as tk maxx they're both white i think the only difference is this one's a little bit bigger and um has the eyes on the front which is actually only stuck on with a sticker which will come off anyway tk maxx ones 8.99 nine pounds three pounds three pounds so as soon as i saw this my heart sank to be honest when i realized that i've just bought the tk maxx ones so yeah anyway they're going back definitely recommend checking out b m if you want some cute little coffee table matches they do do them in different colors as well i think they've got red and is it green it might have been orange i'm not sure but they do have different colors but how cute is that just to like sit with the candle on the coffee table and i just think that'll look really cute so yeah if you're looking for any matches at check out bnm so the next thing i saw which i really didn't need but look how pretty it is it's this little house and i've done like a not like a village but kind of like a little village scene on one of my shelves and i just thought this would look really cute on there so yeah if you haven't seen that video i'll have it linked down below so you can go and see all of my decorations but yeah, this one lights up as well. And look how cute that is. I just love that. So yeah, definitely goes with my winter wonderland theme as well. And they have so much stuff in all different colours. So yeah, I was obsessed with that. Next thing I picked up were these feather bowers. And if you were here a couple of years ago, I actually got pink ones of these because I had a pink tree. But I'm now going for the more like winter wonderland snowy effect downstairs. And I thought these would be perfect because the tree does have quite a few gaps in it. And it annoys me. I don't know why. Like the tree, I love. I love how it's all done. But sometimes when I'm just sitting there watching telly, I look over and I can see like a gap in the tree and it winds me up. So I got these. They were £4 each. And I'm just going to sort of cut them up and pop them in the tree, like in the gaps. So it looks like snow and ice. I think that's going to look really good. So yeah, I think all of these things that I'm going to be adding in will be in my next video. So definitely subscribe if you want to see how everything turns out. But can't wait to use those. But I am over the moon that I found this. I was actually looking for it in Home Bargains because I've seen a lot of Instagram reels of people showing chopping boards that they got from Home Bargains. And I couldn't find any Christmassy ones when I went in. And then I found this. I searched 
everywhere in B&M for this and I didn't realise that all of the kitchen Christmas stuff is like in a whole different section. They don't mix it in with the normal Christmas stuff. So I nearly missed it. And it was laying on the shelf like that. So all I could see was that. And I was walking by and I thought, I'm just going to double check what that box is. Pulled it out. And oh my God, it was exactly what I was looking for. I don't know if I'm actually going to use the bowls or not. It will look nice if we do like a movie night. Lay that out on the coffee table with like nibbles. But I actually just wanted the tray the but yeah the tray like the chopping board to go on the side of my other chopping boards and just add that christmas touch because i'm not doing too much in the kitchen i'm not sure if i've actually decorated the kitchen yet i don't think i have so that should be my next video so if you do want to see how it turns out definitely subscribe um but yeah i just want to keep it nice and subtle and i thought this would be a really nice touch so another thing i picked up for the kitchen because like i said i wanted to keep it quite subtle with a few pops of christmas these really pretty tea towels don't really say how much this was this was seven pound i don't think i've been very good with the prices in today's video but yeah this was seven pound which i thought was absolute bargain but yeah a set of two of these are five pounds and i'm thinking because i totally forgot to get any hand towels for the downstairs toilet <laughs> so i'm thinking of using this one in the kitchen and then just the plain one in the toilet because i mean what's the difference between a hand towel and a tea towel really you know you just wipe your hands on it so that's what i think i'm gonna do because it saves me buying more but it just adds that little pop i don't know we'll see i might end up just using both of them in the kitchen but yeah if you're looking for something a little bit more neutral than your normal like red and green this is really nice and they're so soft as well so the final things i picked up were mugs and i did get two because i just couldn't decide so this was the first one i got it's three pounds and look how pretty that is just with the trees it's very neutral which is exactly what i needed because the only christmas mugs i've got is this one that i'm drinking out of now which is neutral um, and i think all of my others are like red and i love them but I wanted some neutral as well. Got this one first, put it in the basket. And then I saw this one that says Winter Wonderland on. It's like reindeer, look at it. So I was literally stood there for like a good five minutes thinking, which one do I take home? Which one do I need? And that's when I was just like, obviously I need both of them. So yeah, I popped them both in, but I thought it would be really cute because they're like, a matching set but different so me and rob can have one each if we're doing like a movie night with our snack board and yeah it's just so so cozy so that is everything i've picked up and yeah i can't wait to decorate with it all get it all out make sure you subscribe because this will be in my next video where i'm finally putting in like the final touches in the front room decorating the kitchen i've still got to do the hallway um so yeah there's still lots of christmas festive decorating to do so definitely stick around and i will see you back here in the next one